The Identity and Access Management Policy Simulator is a tool that enables you to test the effects of IAM access control policies before committing them into production, making it easier to verify and troubleshoot permissions. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the policy simulator for a typical use case, validating that a policy works as expected. To get the most out of this video, it helps to be familiar with basic IAM concepts such as IAM users, groups, and policies. First, go to this URL, policysim.aws.amazon.com. Remember the HTTPS. Now, authenticate as you normally would into Amazon Web Services with your username and password. Note that you can also use the policy simulator by using your IAM username and password. Now that we're in the tool, let's take a moment to look around. By default, you start off in existing policies mode. Existing policies lets you explore your IAM users as well as the groups they belong to and the policies that are attached. This administrator policy, for example, allows access to all AWS actions and resources. You can also use new policy mode in which you can author a brand new policy from scratch and test it. In this video tutorial, though, we'll use some existing IAM resources. Let's take a moment to navigate back to our list of users. The user Alice has two policies that apply to her. The policy DynamoDB All is attached directly to her and allows access to DynamoDB actions and resources. She's also a member of the developer group. This policy denies access to Dynamo deletes. And remember that denies always trump allows. To simulate Alice's permissions, select the DynamoDB service, as well as from the list of actions. We'll just select all. And now hit Run Simulation. This will simulate Alice making each of the API calls, given that she is subject to both policies. Some are allowed, and some actions, like this one here, are denied you can select Show Statement to see which policy element is actually denying access to the action. Now let's clear the results. What about another action type? If you select Redshift, for example, and select All Actions, you can hit Run Simulation again. Here we see that all actions are implicitly denied. Remember that in Policy Evaluation, if an action type is not explicitly allowed, then it's denied by default. What if you want to change a policy and see its effects? Here, we'll go into the developer group policy and change it from a deny DynamoDB delete action type to allow all DynamoDB actions. Now, if you select DynamoDB service again, and then all actions. I'll remember to apply the policy. Now if you hit Run Simulation, you can see that the actions are now allowed after the change that we made. Note now that there are two statements which are contributing to this allow. One, the DynamoDB all policy on the user, and the developer group policy on the group that Alice belongs to. Remember that the policy simulator is a sandbox environment and changes don't take effect in production. To save policies, copy your changes from the policy simulator and attach them using the IAM console or command line interface. Now let's move on to a more advanced example. Let's go to user Frank and explore resource policies. Frank has a policy that allows access to S3, all S3 actions but he also has a policy statement that denies access to a particular S3 bucket, in this case called My Custom Bucket. Let's test Frank's resource level policy by evaluating an action that affects a particular object in the prohibited bucket. Select S3 from the list of AWS services, and now let's try testing against S3 delete object, which you can choose from the list of S3 actions. 
if you run simulation, this action is allowed. That's because this is a generic action on S3. However, what if we were to get a little more specific? Here, we can specify the target resource for our request. We'll specify an Amazon S3 ARN. In this case, let's select a, an object in the My Custom Bucket bucket. The object can be called testObject.txt. If you simulate this action, note that the action is now denied because the target resource for the API call is in the prohibited bucket. If, however, we were to change the target resource to an object in a different bucket and rerun the simulation, this action is now allowed. And you can see that it's the S3 allow star policy that allows it. This concludes our walkthrough of the IAM policy simulator. To learn more about it, visit our documentation at the link below. Thank you for watching our tutorial.